we're going to talk about how to use the slope formula when you're given two points. So you watched a quick little video, and we know already that the slope is identified with the variable m. And then our slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is really just the differences of the y's divided by the differences of the x's. Remember, we have rise over run, that is the same as slope, or the difference, and they'll use a little triangle, the difference of the y's over the difference of the x's. Remember, difference means subtraction. So our formula is y2 minus y1, so we want to go ahead and label. It's a good thing to get in the habit of labeling um, when you first start. So we're going to call this one x1 and y1 and x2 and y2. So when you set up and solve your problems, you need to set up using the formula method. So we're looking for y2, which we see is 8, minus, that's part of the formula, 9 over 1, because we started with y2 over here, we got to start with this partner, 1 minus 3. Then we're going to go ahead and simplify. This is why integers come in very important, you have to know how to add and subtract integers. So remember, you can use the cha-ching method, and we know this is negative 1. And then 1 minus 3 gives me a negative 2. Now, when I get down to here, I notice that I have two negatives, and when I have two negatives, they actually cancel out. So my answer is 1 half. This is my slope. So when you do your work, you need to have your process shown, not just the answer. Let's try a couple more. So on these I stacked up, so we'll call this um, A, and we'll call this one B. So we'll do A first. I stacked them on top of each other because one thing that often I see is when we have negatives inside of the um, problems or with our coordinates, sometimes we forget and we don't put the negative that goes with the formula and we end up getting the wrong answer. So I like to set them on top of each other and put a big subtraction sign out beside them. And then I start with my y's. So these are my y's, these are my x's. And I think, okay, I just have them stacked. Two minus six, that's on top. And then negative four, because I started with two, I've got to start with its partner on the bottom, four minus five. Now I'm going to simplify. Two minus six is a negative four. A negative four and a negative five gives me a negative nine. And then I can simplify. Those negatives cancel out. I end up with four ninths. So my answer would be m equals four ninths. Every time I rise up four, I run nine. That's what that means. All right, let's try b. So I'm going to put a big subtraction, and I'm going to start here, negative 5 minus negative 4 over negative 8 minus negative 7. Now, notice that two negatives together, they together are a big positive, so we can go ahead and fix those like cha-chinging. So I have a negative 5 plus 4 gives me a negative 1. A negative 8 plus 7 gives me a negative 1. A negative and negative cancel out. I'm left with just 1. So my slope is 1. Now you could leave it 1 over 1. It's the same thing. Um, anytime we have a whole number, remember you can put it over 1 and that helps you to know you're rising up 1 and running over 1. And these are positive slopes. So you've got some practice to do. Try your hand at it.